Hey, welcome to Flat 5 Games. My name is Jeremy and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod Enter the Gungeon. So, first step is you're going to need to go to this website right here. And I will have a link for you down in the description below. So, you click that little arrow. We're going to scroll down to this green section here. And you can click this green box right here. That is the latest version. So once you click that, it automatically downloads down here at the bottom. As you can see, I've already done that several times. Uh, just go ahead and click on that. And this pulls up the installer for the mod. Mm, it's what it's called is the back end for the mod. This is what you need to run the mods. So uh, from here, if you have your game installed through Steam, it's probably gonna generate this um, directory, this path by itself. If this is blank, all you gotta do is click on this and you just gotta direct it to the executable for Enter the Gungeon. And by default, that's gonna be under your main drive, your C drive, program files, 86, then go down to Steam, then Steam Apps, then Common, Enter the Gungeon, and there it is right there. The one that says Application, ETG. So once you point, point it to where, your, um, where the game is, then you're gonna leave this on base, go ahead and click Step 3, Install Enter the Gungeon Mod. And that's really the bulk of it. What good is that without some mods, right? So we're gonna go over, um, it's super easy to find. If you type in Gungeon Mods, it's normally the second result you get. It, you're looking for Mod Workshop. So we're gonna click on that. Okay, so they got it broken down into several categories. Most downloaded, most viewed, and most rated. Uh, these are probably, let's see, um, Probably the best and most used useful mods that they have at the moment, because this is actually a, quite a new project. They, um, it's still in its alpha stage, um, but there are some stuff. There's some pretty cool stuff, I have to admit. So if you want to see everything, I think you, yeah. If you just scroll down, you'll get everything. Um, let's see if I can quit scrolling so fast. Like for instance, um, I'll just click Rainbow Mode. That was not up there. It doubles the projectile speed, doubles the enemy speed, and halves the health of all enemies. Additionally, it colors various elements of the enemy sprites with a moving rainbow gradient, the same that rainbow chests have. A challenge harder than challenge mode itself. Yeah, so if you want to do that, you just download that right there. All right, sounds super fun, right? And click download. And it downloads right there. Okay. So, next step is we're going to minimize everything. We're going to go into that folder that we went to earlier. Program files. Uh, Steam. Steam apps. Common. Enter the Gungeon. You will have a new folder called Mods. If you don't, just create it right here. You should have it. But if you do, don't. I mean, it's, it's simple. Just right click, new folder, name it Mods, bam. Um, I already have two installed and this this is so simple all you do you don't even have to unzip the folder that you downloaded just grab that folder drop it in here as you can see I have stat display and health bars then there will be a text document called mods if it's not there just create a uh, go to notepad create a text document super easy uh, but it should be there it's usually auto generated and what you're gonna need to do is this is uh, automatically there. Um, you don't have to worry about those four lines. But put the title, the, or the name, the file name of this, of each of your mods, boom. And make sure you put the extension, .zip, or if you've unzipped it, dot .whatever. And this tell, lets it know to load those in. You gotta have that. In fact, I had it working when I just had one mod, but when I wanted to do a second one, I had to add it in here. So, all right, so once you've done that, I'll go ahead and minimize that. You can open up your game. Okay, so, dog roll. 
Oh, I have that. Oh. Whoa, what is going on? Yeah, I don't have it on full screen at the moment. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, on the left side, uh, we've got stats. Uh, okay. And instead of enter the gungeon, it says mod the gungeon. So we're going to hit play. We're going to pick us a uh, character. I didn't show you this yet, but uh, I actually have an alternate skin installed for the hunter. It's really cool. She's the lich. So I'm going to go in here. Even some different things like that's changed. It says obey now. I'm not sure what that's all about. All right. So this is the cool part. Pardon me while I go out of the frame. If you hit F2, it brings up a console. If you type in help, it will give you all kinds of commands in case you forget. One that you will very much probably enjoy is give. You can type give whatever. Give what's a good gun? Gunther? Is that how you spell that? Bam! So we close that. Now we have Gunther. Alright, so if you want to install a um, an extra skin for one of your characters like I had for the Hunter, they, if I still have this pulled up, are under... Let's go back a couple of pages. Oh, that was too far. Resources. And we got all kinds. There's actually quite a few of these, okay? Uh, Royal Bullet King, Bullet Girl, and, you know, change the mushrooms to Mario shrooms, whatever, you know, Space Dog, Super Space Wolf. So there's a lot of these. Change the bullets to Deadpool. Um, what you do is you'll download it just like you did the other. Click on it and download it. And the difference is this one has one more step. The only way I was able to get this to work was first I did uh, you're gonna go into your Gungeon folder and instead of mods go into resources then sprites what I had to do I had to extract um, using uh, WinZip or I use something called 7-zip and uh, the, it, if you don't have WinZip 7-zip is 100% free and safe it's an open source program you can get uh, I'll also provide a link to that in the description, but it, it's super good. Uh, anyway, you'll need to extract the, the, the zip file that you download, and it will be in a folder, I think it's called like, you know, if you got the lich, mine was called like lich something, blah, blah, blah. These two folders were inside it. Take those out. Uh, only copy those two folders into the sprites. If you have that their parent folder in there as well, it will not work, or it did not for me. So take them, take them out separately and put them, dump them in the sprites by themselves, and load the game up and whatever you know effect that you were trying to have will be done, unless something is wrong with the texture pack itself, which could be the case. Anyway, this can provide some really cool stuff i mean i have done some really crazy runs using this uh for instance uh just recently on my channel i uploaded a video with the starting weapon but with every single bullet modifier at one at the same time which there was like i don't know like 20 at least it looked crazy and if you want to check that out then i'll also have a link to that video in the bottom i um, mean in the description and I would really appreciate you checking it out. Um, I will continue to do all sorts of crazy mods and challenges on this channel. Um, and if you have any suggestions of your own that you would like to see done, any combinations that you would like to see me do, put them in the comments and I would love to get to it. It would be so fun and awesome. So just let me know. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to cover it in a future video as far as these mods go. They are going to be adding more. Um, as of now, it's not really viable to make your own, your own mods. Uh, there's really no documentation for 
any direction at all as far as how to go about making a mod. They have stated, the creators of Mod the Gungeon have stated that because it's in its alpha stage, um, there is no support at the moment. But as soon as they release a more stable version, then they will re also release tutorials for how to create mods. And once that happens, I'll, I'll upload another video explaining how to create mods on your own. So, until then, it's been Flat 5 Games, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you did. See you next time.